we're just sitting in Erica and this morning we've been doing a little bit of playing. Mick's currently drawing detailed designs but we thought we'd come out and do some measurements and you can see there that we've got some bits of tape on the floor. There's another one next to me. So at the moment Mick is sitting on the sofa. The sofa is either going to come out to the white line or to the blue line. Uh, we're not quite sure which yet. We think probably the white line. The total width of the bed is going to be 1040 mil. 1040. 1040. That will be from the pillar that Mick's about to point to. That'll be from that pillar and it will come all the way over to the cutout, edge of the cutout on this side. Between the edge of the cutout and this wall here will be a kitchen unit which will come down to this blue line here. So it will go part way across the door and this door that I'm leaning against which is the near side door will be the main point of access into the back of the vehicle. Over at the back there between the tailgate and the sofa that little square area that will be the toilet. At the moment the ramp impinges on that but at some point we will be cutting the ramp off so that it's flush with the floor. At the moment we're leaving it because it's really useful for getting in and out. We may have a tall unit in the back right corner there, tall kitchen unit, which means that the sink and the cooker will be further towards the middle. Uh, the sink will be in front of the door, the cooker under the window. Under the, the cupboards, over in that back corner, there will be a gas locker. And at this end, under the sink, will be the clean water container and the wastewater container. Mick has just moved off his seat on the sofa. Underneath the sofa, behind the driver's seat, we will have a leisure battery. Let's see. Electrical. That will be the electrical cupboard that will have the leisure battery and all the wiring controllers, the chargers. Next to the electrical cupboard is going to be a diesel heater and that will run off its own diesel tank. So that will be accessible from the offside door. And then between the diesel heater compartment and the toilet that will all be storage space. I'm now sitting in a kitchen cupboard looking towards the front of the vehicle and the relevance of that is at the moment we've got a twin passenger seat. What we want to do is get hold of a single passenger seat and switch that out so that we can put the passenger seat on a rotating swivel base. So two things, firstly it can face backwards and become a useful bit of seating and the other is that we'll then be able to walk through from the back into the cab. There was a seat available on eBay last week but I didn't buy it. Uh, because we hadn't got the vehicle at the time and of course as soon as we took delivery of the vehicle somebody else had bought it so now we just have to be patient they don't come up very often um, so who knows how long it will be before we get that the order of events now is that we need to come up with the final design um, so that we know where everything's going and particularly where the electrical installation is going. We then need to order the wiring and receive that. We then need to fit the wiring and once we've got the wiring installed we can put the insulation in. Uh, a bit of sound deadening first maybe, then some insulation, then a vapour barrier, then the top layer and at that point um, it'll look more or less where we were before we started stripping everything out a few days ago and from there we can then start building what we're going to build inside. We have mentioned in passing, you've probably noticed, there is a cutout down the length of this vehicle. The options that we've considered with that is we could cover it over and have some underfloor storage, but one of the appeals of having the wheelchair adapted vehicle with the cutout the whole way along like this is that that actually gives an extra 13 centimetres of height. Whereas these sides have got... Um, a layer of wood, a gap, and then the floor of the van. This cutout is just um, the flooring is attached direct to the metal that's been added in the, into the trough. So we probably do want to put a little bit of insulation and, and a wooden floor on that so that'll cut down the, the depth we have available but we'll still have quite a few extra centimetres of headroom. The kitchen is going to be built out and it'll come to the edge of uh, the floor here 
and on this side the the bed stroke sofa will come out and the bottom of the sofa will come out to this white line here so all of the raised bit will be hidden below either the kitchen units or the bed except for the access bit so what will apparently be when, when it's finished there'll be you'll come in and there's a the floor will there'll be just a, a, a slightly recessed floor over the whole park you won't see the raised parts on either side at all and the trough is ramped at this end so we will have to do a little bit of construction to make a false floor to level out that ramp bring it up to the same level as the the main trough in the floor and once we've cut the ramp off at floor level we will have a, a hinged door that will open outwards that will give us access to that tiny bit of space that will be under the false floor that we put in there